Drones could save lives in the near future, flying to hard to reach areas or responding to mass shootings and natural disasters. It's called health integrated rescue operations. We were able to create somewhat of a like an ambulance drone to be able to go out to where there's a victim uh, from an unfortunate event. Google Glass is part of the medical kits allowing first responders to see and instruct bystanders on how to help. It allows a patient who has a life-threatening condition to be treated faster. The project includes recommendations from the Department of Homeland Security's Stop the Bleed initiative, encouraging people on scene to act quickly to stop blood loss. The packs also have a wide range of uses. There is definite utility not just in medical use in certain areas, but in a broad spectrum of uh, the first responder and Homeland Security uh, responsibilities. Developers say the drones could be months away from deployment, but current regulations are the biggest hurdle. That's uh, very much restrictive for us to be able to go out and deploy in disaster areas where we need to fly some distances uh, to reach the people in need. Current FAA rules limit the use of drones to an altitude of below 400 feet and the devices must be flown in the line of sight of the operator. The agency does make exceptions for government entities in emergency situations, but approval could take hours when time is of the essence. In Jackson, Mississippi, Willie James Inman, Fox News.